Hey everybody, it's Jay, the owner of Ocean Views Real Estate in Leland, North Carolina. And this is the website, WilmingtonRealEstate.com. That's uh, WilmingtonRealEstate.com. Probably the best website in Southeast North Carolina. Real quick, I have a market minute update for you on Bolivia. And in fact, we're going to go Bolivia versus Leland Mano a Mano. I used to talk about Bolivia homes for sale, Bolivia real estate, once a year, or not even the entire year. And now I talk about Bolivia homes for sale every week. So what changed? Well, what changed is uh, Leland got too expensive for a lot of folks, and then the developers uh, started to explode Bolivia. <clears throat> so now folks um, are going there to save a lot of money, especially for brand new construction homes versus the Leland side. Here's some quick <clears throat> data for you. When I've got these great uh, tools, you know, I spend all this money as a realtor and I get to use all these different variables comparing a bunch of different niches of things to each other. So here's what I come up with for Bolivia, which will explain why I'm talking about Bolivia homes for sale every week and have developed that part of my business. For a three bedroom home, and Leland versus Bolivia, uh, they were trending very similarly up till 2023. You know, these are two years of data right here. Let's see if I can even get out a groovy uh, arrow on that or something. Just a second. Yeah. So, yeah, it was going very, very similarly right here. But then starting uh, in 2023, that uh, changed. They really divided or bifurcated Bolivia, Leland values appreciated another 6% while Bolivia values came down 2%. So uh, in essence, by the end of this run right now, it costs $50,000 more to buy a home in Leland and Bolivia. Here's what I mean. This uh, little home here in Bolivia, 252, this, uh, this might even be a new home or very recent. This would cost 300 in uh, Leland. And then this home uh, here, for example, 290 in Bolivia, this would cost uh, 350 in Leland. So it's just a huge difference in value for the same brand new homes or even uh, resale. So that's specifically using uh, just across the board numbers. But if we get to specifically new construction, three bedroom homes in Leland, versus Bolivia. We see that big divide right here in 2023 where the prices started going a little bit lower in Bolivia while they continued to escalate in Leland. Now for new homes, it's a $62,000 difference between new construction and Leland and Bolivia. Bolivia, I'll call it, well, it depends on where, where you're at in Leland. Uh, in some parts of Leland, you're just, uh, you know, 18 minutes to Bolivia. Other parts of Leland, you're more like 25 minutes to Bolivia. So the point is you get, especially if you're moving here from the Northeast and you're done working, it's nice to keep $60,000 in your bank account because 10 years from now, you might like having another $60,000 in your bank account. Um, this is really fascinating to see the days on market. Bolivia is in red here, Burgundy. It used to take... Uh, 2021 through 2022, 40% longer to sell a home in Bolivia. But around midway through 2022, they they sort of came together. And now the days on market are almost identical for Bolivia and Leland Homes for Sale up till now 2024. So there was a big change and shift here. Mid-2022 is when Bolivia really uh, found um, its demand level and, and join Leland in days of market time to sell. And here, and here you see right now this pending sales. What we do have though is demand has dipped in Bolivia compared to Leland. Leland is at a 21% increase in, in demand. Like the market action index is right here. It's at a 39. But in Bolivia, since uh, early 2023, it's dipped down. Uh, I believe, let me see if I can get this out of the way. Yeah, 34%. So the market action index in Bolivia has dipped down to 32 
versus 39. So it's a big difference in the last year. Demand is increased in Leland and decreased in Bolivia. And that's keeping the prices lower in Bolivia. And that's why every week I'm talking about Bolivia. Uh, quick question I always get. What is there in Bolivia? Where do I go grocery shopping? You go grocery shopping. Not many choices. There's a Dollar General. And down at the bottom, uh, sort of I call it the bottom right corner, southeast corner of Bolivia is uh, Lowe's, uh, which is right by uh, Southport and PetSmart or some pet stores, etc. A good strip mall there. But uh, for less expensive grocery shopping, because Lowe's is the most expensive, you would need to head up to Leland, to Aldi, Walmart, etc. Um, so that's Leland versus Bolivia. There's better value in Bolivia, and that's why every week I'm talking to people about their homes there and showing them property there. What I like to do is show homes in Leland, then we hop over to Bolivia and give you a direct comparison of the value and the drive, and then you know where you want to be. Talk to you soon.